Well, you can tell it's not midsummer on the equator. It's actually a little bit cool uh, with the wind blowing out here. And while well, I've been on the edge of getting a cold, I've been trying to keep warm. Uh, this uh, wind is fairly breezy today. But it's been really a lovely passage up here so far. No complaints at all. The wind has been about 15 knots, not much more than that. So it's been easy to move around. And now on the uh, our second evening, we're waiting for the sun to go down. It's October 3rd and we're still moving north along the coast of Madagascar. We're not that far off the coast there, maybe about uh, three miles or so. And as we've gotten closer, the wind has picked up, which is what we've expected would happen. And our speeds have been tremendous. At times, we've, uh, we, I've seen at one point, uh, because I'm sure a current that's going with us, a uh, speed of 10 and a half knots. Now we should be at Cathedral in uh, that anchorage at about sundown. battling a bit of a cold today so uh, anyway it's a uh, been a little bit annoying but it's not too bad so a little snippiness itchy throat which is on the way now and uh, we our next waypoint is about 10 nautical miles ahead of us and once we go past that we're gonna start our turn around the corner of the north northern Cape Cape Dombra, I believe it's called, and uh, we should see a very uh, dramatic difference to the waves. Well, there it is, Cap Dombra, and we're almost there. They say to try to make this rounding at the slack tide, but uh, you know, in order to avoid the washing machine effect, but I think that we're going to get our clothes washed because the tide is actually on the full ebb. So 
so we'll see how bad it gets. Unfortunately, I'm kind of guessing that ebb tide means that we're going to be fighting a current after this, so along that coast. But we'll see, I could be wrong. Should be passing the Cape in just a few minutes. And then hopefully we'll see a dramatic change in the wave state. Oh wow, we almost hit that whale. He was, uh, he was absolutely right beside us and uh, turning over. I don't even know if he, he knew that we were here. He was rolling over with one flipper up in the air. I noticed him when he was actually a beam of us on the starboard side. And then, uh, and then he was gone, still rolling. Holy cow. I thought actually we were going to hit him before I, as, before he passed right by here underneath me. And I, and I realized at that point that uh, he was, uh, that he was kind of parallel to the boat. But he was just rolling and playing. I don't think he even knew we were here. Holy mackerel. I know I shouldn't have put the camera down. We almost hit a whale. Really? I heard you talking. He was right. I heard, I saw something. I saw a, a tail up in the air, like opposite the bow and about five feet off. Oh my God. And, uh, and then I saw a flipper come up and as he went by, he was rolling. And I realized that he was kind of parallel to the boat because up, up until that point, I thought we were going to hit him. And uh, then he just kept going. I don't know if he realized that we were even here. He didn't pay us any attention at, at all. So. You know, he said that he almost hit whales, I guess. Yeah. Well, uh, wow. the swells are starting to get a little bit higher now as we get yeah. closer to the Cape. Quieting up the road. Yeah. Hi. Yeah, it is. Yeah, could you close the... Uh, port light, uh, actually any port lights that are open, just for safety. Yep. Thanks. Now, I don't know if you're going to be able to see a mast up here. Uh, we've been following a boat on AIS. We think it's uh, the French boat that left the, the town a few hours ahead of us going to the same place and this is the first time we've actually seen him we cut the corner here a little bit he went out a little farther so we're a little closer to him now and I saw a mast on the horizon and uh, I don't see it after that so you may be able to see it in the video anticipating the uh, calmer water around the corner I've let out the, the jib a little bit about looks like about one and a half reefs in it and uh, he really picked up speed because of the wind. Eight six nine 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 one seven six seven seven eight one eight six nine nine one. Wow, pretty fast. the point there we uh, we got some really good wind and we were up over 10 knots almost to 11 knots and now I'm hand steering because the swells just push the boat around so much it wants a roundup We're slowly getting rid of the swells, which is nice.
October 4th and we're slipping away from Nozihara really fast before we had to get the guys coming out to ask us for money. It was kind of funny because I I want to get going quickly in the morning, early in the morning to, to the next anchorage because it's uh, quite a distance away. So I was out here raising the anchor and I saw a boat coming out from the shore and I thought, oh shit, they're coming for the money. And uh, <laughs> so I got the anchor up in a hurry. It turns out they were just fishermen going by. Also large, yeah. Yeah, making water. Making water, sailing on. As we leave Nozahara, we're going to be going right by the cathedral. So, actually right through the cathedral anchorage. So, we'll get a nice view of the rocks there as we go by. These are all very spectacular high islands. You can see where those rocks in the foreground have fallen away from the cliffside. Look at that hole up there. That's fascinating. Look at the arch up there, Matt. Hey, Matt. Look at the arch at 8.30. What? The arch, the arch. at 8.30. Very cool. Just a myriad of little islands here. Really fascinating. Beautiful. You can see what they call it, the cathedral. And after an all-day sail, we are approaching the anchorage for tonight at Nozi Mitsio. It's some beautiful scenery here. Again, more spectacular islands.
Well, I was kind of, uh, I felt something like a shudder in the boat. Made me look around the back here to see if maybe we'd hit something. And I see this. Well, I don't know what it is. It looks like a fish's tail. Yep, it's a shark. Oh. No, no, it's not a shark. It's a pilot. It's a pilot. Oh, it's fish. one of those things, yeah. It's a pilot fish. Well, I think, you know, they, in the Caribbean they call them like, um, Sucker sharks or something. Yeah, yeah. Well, basically, uh, yeah. The first time I saw when I was diving underneath my uh, first boat from Panama to Tahiti, uh -huh. and it scared the hell out of me because they kind of have a triangular shape, you know. And I thought oh, yeah. it was a little shark. I didn't know what. <laughs> That's me, something. Let me hit it again. Oh <laughs> yeah. He's a pretty big one. Oh, actually. that's far out. Yeah. <laughs> Creepy. They hang out underneath the boat for, for food and... Oh, okay. Honestly, poop oh, and whatever they can come <laughs> Weird. It's cool. <laughs> well, October 5. We're just leaving Nosy Mitsio and heading off toward Nosy B. We're just going to be arriving at uh, Nosy B pretty soon. It's an island there, I can't think of the name of it right at the moment, but it's uh, got a lemur sanctuary on it. I think we want to see that on a tour. Well, that's the town of Hellville, and just over here around the point, about two miles away, is Crater Bay. talking.
there, look, there's that's Lemurland and all Lemurian land. Lemurian land. That's it's just officially called Lemurian land. Okay. I think that Lemurs are called here. Lemurian land. 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 Lemurian And so this is the main intersection in the little town by the uh, Crater Bay Anchorage. Yeah, I was noticing that upstairs. The upstairs, I thought that would be a really cool spot. Yeah, it's the same kind of place. A lot of them are upstairs. Uh. Thank you. 